Stephen, thank you for joining us. So why do small cap stocks make sense to you here? Is it just because of the pullback or are there better fundamental right. reasons that we need to consider? Look, let's take a step back. It's been a busy end of the year and investors have been waiting for this broad Santa rally to emerge. And it does seem like the overall market, especially small caps, is set up for a rally from these levels. Because like you said, outside of mega cap stocks, we've really just been marking time for a while now, even though fundamentals continue to improve. And so you mentioned earlier, we have the S&P 500 bumping up against all time highs. But one has to understand that almost 40% of the strong year to day performance in the SPX has been from the top stocks, top five stocks in the index. And if you look, the small cap Russell 2000 is flat since the beginning of February, and small cap growth stocks have been down pretty dramatically over the last month. And I think the reality is, is that we've been in this less good news environment really since the first quarter of the year. Not bad news, just not as good news. And when you look at the first quarter of this year, we had 76% of all companies beat their EPS numbers. That's one of the highest numbers on record. And since, we've just had less blowout numbers in these smaller cap stocks. So we've had this slowing earnings growth since the first half of the year. At the same time, the growth of money supply has peaked, which usually money supply correlates directly to multiples. We've been battling COVID fits and starts. We've had the Fed looming all along. And in that less than an ideal environment, the market has generally hung in there and mega caps have done very well. So right now we have the big bad event with the Fed meeting yesterday behind us, coinciding with spikes in COVID cases everywhere. And I was just at CVS where there was a very long line <laughs> for uh, rapid tests. And at this time of year with poor liquidity, conservative 2022 guidance numbers for management teams, all taken together, it actually starts to feel like a good spot to put money to work in smaller cap stocks as we climb the proverbial wall of worry. You mentioned the Fed decision yesterday, and now, of course, we have a little bit more information about where their heads collectively are when it comes to monetary policy. Knowing what we know now, based on what they had to say, do you think that you should buy, in general, the entire small cap space, but like the Russell 2000, or are you individually sure, stock picking? Look, at the Federated Kauffman Funds, as we look into 2022, we realize, like you said, we are still in a low interest rate environment. Companies with secular growth themes and pricing power will still be growing. We're going to get back to broader beats and raises. Household wealth is still very high, all coming off a period where many stocks, especially small cap stocks, haven't done much since the first quarter of the year. It's a pretty good setup for 2022, where we should have easing inflationary pressures combined with accelerating overall growth. And so we're looking at some cyclical pro-growth characteristic stocks, but that have long-term secular trends mm -hmm. and very strong pricing power. Look, when you have strong pricing power and strong volume at the Federated Kauffman Funds, you know, we don't care what's going on in the overall macro environment or interest rates. We think we can find companies that are going to work. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.